Okay, so this video, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna level the rear roller. Uh, so I like to level the rear roller at this point. Uh, the reason I like to do that is because at this point, before anything's mounted up here, we can actually flip the whole mower upside down. Uh, and in my opinion, it's uh, easier to do this uh, upside down. It's just easier to get at everything, lift the roller, etc. Um, it can be done if you have the motor on there. Uh, how I've done that in the past is I've got two milk crates uh, and I've positioned it underneath either side. Uh, and as long as the milk crates aren't sitting, like, as long as the rear roller isn't sitting on the uh, milk crates and the front roller, uh, you should be able to achieve the same thing. It's just a little bit more difficult getting underneath there and it's heavy and it's awkward and it's hard to balance, uh, etc. So, we're gonna do this now. Uh, there's a few things that you're gonna need. So, half inch spanner. Uh, now I've got a small jimmy bar, uh, but you could use a long screwdriver or anything like that. Uh, basically, this is just a, uh, a lever to uh, lift the rear roller. Uh, and then you ask, you are also going to need a uh, height of just, height of cut bar. So, I don't actually own one of them. Uh, however, I have fabricated one uh, just from a bit of scrap metal that I've got lying around the shed. So basically a hider cut bar is just a flat, a flat bar uh, with a threaded hole in it. So that hole gets a, a, a bolt screwed into it. Uh, and basically you tighten this bolt, it gives you a determined height. Uh, and all we're doing is just making sure that that height is even across the bed knife. So watch along, I'll, I'll try and explain as I go. Uh, I do have a, another video where I've done this. Uh, I think I'm probably gonna explain it a little bit better in that one. Uh, I'll link that up in the corner and uh, we'll see how we go. So first of all, let's flip the mower upside down. Okay. So now we've got the roll, uh, mower upside down. Our, our next step is to position our uh, pivot point, so our, our wedge. So I like to get a, a bit of cloth, wrap it in cloth, just prevent scratching of the mower. Um, now remembering that the drive side, so the side with the gear, is the fixed side. The non-drive side is the uh, adjustable side. So I like to position this underneath the adjustable side. Right, just like that. So when I loosen the nuts and bolts over here, uh, this will become free and I'll be able to press down on my lever, raising and lowering the side of the roller. So once we've got that set up, the next step is to get the height adjuster and position it. So you wanna, you wanna do this on the fixed side first uh, because the fixed side won't actually change in the height. It's always gonna be the same height uh, and the non-fixed side is the one that will be adjustable. So if you get the position of the fixed side first and then match it to the other side. So what we'll do is we'll get our height adjuster, we'll place it across the rear roller and the front roller, and then we'll adjust our bolt until we're touching the top of the bed knife. Once we've done that, we'll reposition our height of cut bar to the opposite side, and we'll raise or lower this side of the roller until we're touching the top of the bolt. Tighten everything up, and then we'll check it again. So once we've done that, your rear roller should be level with your front roller and your bed knife. So I'll get the camera and I'll sort of do a side on view because it's gonna be much easier. Uh, that was gonna be quite difficult for me to do while I hold the camera. So we'll see how we go. Okay, so we get the harder cut bar We'll position it on the drive side. So this is the fixed side. This part of the rear roller won't go up or down. It, it won't move, it'll stay in that position. Front roller, cross to the rear roller, and that nut. So that bolt needs to be positioned somewhere where you can match it up on the other side. So to do that, I'm gonna do it at the top of that lip. Now the reason we do that is the bed knife, as you can see on the camera, doesn't actually sit flat. 
it's on a bit of an angle. So if we measure it to here, move it to the other side, and then the bolt's up here, it's actually a different height. So we need to make sure that we're measuring at the same point on both sides. So that front lip is where I'm going to. Position the bolt above it, adjust it until we're touching. Just like so. Now reposition the height of cut bar to the other side. And you'll see we have a gap underneath the front roller. So what's that what that's telling me is that this part of the rear roller needs to go up. As that goes up, it'll raise that bolt up and eliminate that gap over here. So our pivot point under here, I'm gonna loosen those nuts, press down on my pivot point, raising this right roller until we're just touching in the same position on the far side. Okay, so hopefully I've explained that well enough. Uh, it is a diff difficult thing to explain and show and film and hold and everything at the same time. Uh, but basically what I did is I loosened these nuts and bolts. That allowed this to be moved freely. I checked my height of cut, moved it to this side, checked my height of cut, which meant I had to raise my rear roller. So I pressed down on my lead, raising the rear roller, tightened up these, uh, and now I'm going to check it all again. So the key to this is to check and check and check and check. Um, now, you do not need your rear roller to be spot on absolutely within a tenth of a millimeter. Uh, it won't affect it that much, but you do need it to be within, I'm going to say within about half a millimeter, uh, half, maybe a millimeter. Uh, it's not super, super critical, uh, but it's definitely definitely something to do uh, if it's not level what happens is when you when you mow actually one side of the mower is further down than the other so you actually mow and when you cut the grass it's actually on an angle uh, so one side's sort of like digging in um, so it's, it's somewhat crucial to get it somewhat level but you just can't be out by like five or ten mil because you will actually notice it if you're out by a millimeter you might not notice it so at this point, I'm going to check it again. I'll grab the camera, I'll put it on the side, and we'll, we'll see how we're going. Just touching the bed knife. This is on the chain side, so this is the drive side. It's the fixed part of the rear roller. 
take that to the non-drive side. Now you can see that we're touching the rear roller, we're touching the front roller, and that that bolt head there, if we can focus, is just touching the top of the bed knife. So that's the same position that was over here, over there. So what that now means is that rear roller is level. If we do it in the middle, we should have the exact same result. We're touching over here, touching the front roller, and we're just touching the top in the middle. So that's telling us that the rear roller is now level with the uh, bed knife. That's perfect. Okay, going to tighten these up. Already tightened them, I'm just going to double check them. It's all tight. I can remove my wedge. It served its purpose. Flip the mower back on to the correct side. And that is, guys, that is how you level your rear roller. Um, so hopefully, you guys have learned something here. I, I know doing this isn't actually really spoken of all too much, so. Uh, just across social media pages and everything, it's it's pretty rare to see a, a post like that. However, if you don't do this, you will have problems with an uneven cut across your bed knife. So, uh, hopefully you learned something, guys. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, I'd love to hear your comments of how you do that. Uh, that's just how I do it. I'm sure there's other ways of doing it. I just think uh, at this point in the build, it's easier to flip the mower over. Uh, and it's definitely a lot easier when you're doing a solid. Now, if you're doing a twin rail, I would still flip the mower over. I'd just uh, put some chocks under the side there, and that will that should uh, get you up a pa up a past um, up over your uh, what's that? Your clutch lever bracket. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.